Hey guys, welcome to the second ever Pasnia Segralm Assembly, hosted live here in the Pasnia Committee of Correspondence Telegram, the official chat of the Free Republic. Keep up to date with happenings, just visit t.me forward slash Pasnia chat. For the purposes of transparency and inclusion, it will also be recorded and released on the various Bonnie podcast feeds. But obviously, Telegram is totally public, so as always, please do keep relevant security culture and privacy concerns in mind. Regardless, thank you so much for being here today. This discussion was sparked by the most recent release, TDP number 171, titled Community as an Essence with Rex. A Rex is Pasnia as a project, vision, philosophies, and ideas. Spark further discussion in this chat, uh, which brings us all here today. If you haven't already, make sure to check that episode out. It's at bonniepodcast.com forward slash 171, or you can find it on Fascist Tube or Odyssey. So I'm going to introduce Pasnia real quick for those who may be new. The Free Republic of Pasnia, PAZ, stands for Permanent Autonomous Zones, which are essentially just pockets of freedom where we can you know, be free and have our autonomy. So the idea of Pasnia is a decentralized network of these permanent autonomous zones, uh, whether they're self-sufficient homesteads, safe places for people to city park in a van, and maybe a self-sustainable greenhouse, like uh, what Rex is talking about. Places where we can you know, be free and have our autonomy, that's the, that's the idea. At Current, uh, we just started putting together the map and the directory, which is only for vetted Pasnians. You gotta know who you work with. That's one way to forego a lot of conflict and coercion in the future. For more information, just visit Paznia.com. There's a lot of stuff on there. Paznia.com. Anyone uh, want to uh, introduce themselves or, uh, you know, say hello? Okay. Uh, this is illegitimately Bastard Chris. Greetings, Paznia. I'm reporting illiterally from an unfortified compound somewhere on the road and in, in a stationary wagon. President Circumstance has assigned me to a top secret mission where I'm tirelessly working to avoid depression while living as a double agent deep within friendly enemy territory. All I can tell you is that I can usually be found doing unusual things in my mother's basement. The rest is classified. Before my declassified report, a quick shout out to Bueller and MJ. After a long absence, Mary Juanita has recently rejoined me on the front lines. Mary has initialized a brief period of increased creativity that will quickly descend into the mass production of excuses. Juanita's arrival also ushers in the return of hyperbolic paranoia and the long-term gain of short-term memory loss. Now for your debriefing from the field. Sean Juan's intelligence reports indicate that as predicted and right on schedule, the cult of claws spent the last week or so venerating ornamental plastic trees and training their reinforcements on how to get anything they want by luring a strangely elusive old fat man into their dwellings late at night while being unseen or unheard and wearing bright garbed clothing. The old fat man declined our interview but left behind a dithyram warning us to watch out, demanding that everyone is to refrain from shouting, pouting, and crying whenever he's coming to town. Our fact checkers speculate that the old fat man is employed by status quo and co and note that synchronized sleeping along with milk and cookies are optional but highly safe and effective keynesian economists have unanimously agreed that this peculiar quid pro quo arrangement is in fact a win-win for everyone quote simply shut your mouth and wish for meaningless things up this week praxeologists are anticipating the enslaved masses will direct their gullible attention toward a coordinated dissension of large luminescent monotesticles immediately followed by a, an awkward stint of labial compressions formerly known as kissing. A prompt return to docile civility will signify the conclusion of the annual rituals. And that brings us to our announcements. The deadline for momentary contemplations of, of temporary self-improvement is quickly approaching. Be sure to make your desultory resolutions at the height of the winter so that any artificial inspiration wears off before spring. Of course, my resolution is to become better at reforming my neighbor so I can continue neglecting self-reformation. Up next, a sap ingros within the Pazian network will be joining us today. Rumor has it will be licking snakes and contriving strategies for milking them. That's all for this special report. Rayo, thanks for the invitation and welcome to the second Second Rome Assembly. <laughs> Amazing, brother. I love it. I love it. Well done. Very good. <laughs>